former NCAA basketball star Maurice Creek finally able to hug his family after being stuck in war-torn Ukraine since the start of the invasion. Creek been playing professionally in the Ukrainian Basketball Super League for three years, but now he, along with some one million Ukrainians, have fled the country. And he joins us now, along with his mom, Pammy, and his dad, Mike, as well. It's great to have all three of you. Mo, let's start with you. When did you realize this thing was going down and you needed to get out? Uh... Uh, it, was, it took a while. I'm not going to say a lot. Like, at first, I didn't think uh, of it happening. Um, but when you start to see the media blasting it and you see it happening from the Ukrainian side and the uh, American side, now we we talking about getting out. So, um, you know, once I felt like it was time, then I, I was talking to my agent and trying to get out. But you literally, at one point, heard the bombs and were were shuffled off to a bomb shelter, were you not? Yeah, I was. I heard them at night, you know, and it's scary. You know, you get reports of shelling. Um, power was cutting out at some points in time. Uh, when it hit nighttime, it was very dark outside, like no lights, no street lights, no nothing. The only light you was getting if somebody rolled past with a car and they wasn't even supposed to be on the street. So, um you know, just to see all that type of stuff, it was hard for me to sleep at night. I know me and my family. So, um, yeah, we, we really got to do something very dramatic. So how did you get out? How long did it take you? It took a while, but, you know, like, like I tell everybody else, like, um, with the good family, fan base, friends, um, like I said, never know who you're going to meet. You know, the person who got me out, his name is Eric Norbert. And I met him once and through sideline cancer. And, you know, he saved my life. Him and his group saved my life. Pammy, I'm, I'm going to tell you about this text, and I want you to tell us what the reaction was. Uh, Mo sent you a text at one point that said, know that I love you all. Um, it sounded like he wasn't sure he was going to make it out. What was your reaction when you got that text? Um, sick. And I just... I didn't want to give up hope, but I'm still human. And I just said, I may not get my child back. I may not see him again. I was literally devastated, dropped to the floor. My mental was completely done. My physical was giving out on me. The only thing that held me together was my spiritual glue. And I had to hold it together because he needed us. He needed the strength of his mom and the power from his father. And he held on. I mean, he is traveled all over the place. I told him so many times, I just respect you so much. You can just pick up and just go. His passport is just pages filled. I'm like, Maurice, do you have any more pages left for them to stay? And, um, he just is all over the place, and I respect him so much for that. But it's like, man, this is so scary. Like, he was literally in the middle of a war. And we're just regular people. And our son, our son is in the middle of a war. We were devastated. Mike, what was it like for you when you finally saw him and you knew he was back home safe? Oh, I was late. I'm glad to see him. Saw the little chicken legs coming through the door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maurice, uh, what was it like for you to hit U.S. soil again after what you'd been through? How long did it take you to get across the border? Wasn't it something like nine hours? Yeah, it took me nine hours to get across the border. And it took me some hours after that to get on U.S. soil. It took me some days after that to go on U.S. soil. So I'm just happy to be back here now. When I, when I seen the... Uh, the um the plane about the land and I knew where it was landing at. You know, I it, I shed a tear on the plane. It was it was crazy. Um and I was the first seat on the plane. Mm. I was the first one to get off the plane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I was I was I was very happy, you know, just to just to be back home, be with my family and you know say have my friends. Right. Mo, do you feel an allegiance to Ukraine and and feel a need to support them, considering what's happening there now, and you've lived there and worked there? 
Yeah, of course. I mean, I love Ukraine. Um, Ukraine is like a second home. I mean, I've been there the majority of my years playing overseas. And it's a it's a beautiful place. It's got so beautiful people. You know, they you not you don't have to really worry about no nonsense when you're going over there. And it's so sad that, you know, you gotta really they really at war right now. And the men of Ukraine can't leave and go with their families and, and nothing. Right. They have to sit there and fight while, you know, their wives, sisters, children whatever, are leaving their site. It's, it's ridiculous to me. Yeah. It's really ridiculous. Well, you lived it, and uh, we're glad to have you back here in the States. Mo Creek and uh, Pammy and Mike Morgan, it's great to have all of you. Best of luck to your whole family, and thanks for the time. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.